In 2018, artificial intelligence or AI seems to be the hot new buzzword in the mobile space. Now, many manufacturers, big and small, is using this as a marketing catchphrase to differentiate their products from the competition. Now, it's not like AI in smartphones is a new thing. If you use Siri or Google Assistant, then that's a form of AI too. However, these days manufacturers are adopting a wider use case for AI. For instance, learning your charging habits so it can charge the battery more efficiently, or even keeping a track of your most frequently used apps so it can launch them faster when you need them. Companies have also started using AI in their camera apps to detect objects and scenes so you get a better final output. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at how AI can improve some of the photos you click by doing a quick test with the ASUS Zenfone 5C and the Huawei P20 Pro. Now, both smartphones are flagships from their respective companies and boasts of AI features like object and scene detection. Now, the Zenfone 5Z is based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 mobile platform, while the Huawei P20 Pro uses its own custom silicon called the Kirin 970. However, both SoCs feature hardware-level AI processing engines. Now, both smartphones sit in very different price brackets, so instead of comparing the image quality between the two phones, we'll actually be seeing how well the AI is implemented and if it actually makes any worthwhile difference in the final picture. Now, with the ASUS phone, you can't exactly switch the AI off, so to get the photos without AI, we basically shot it in Pro mode with all the parameters set to Auto. It's a little more straightforward with the P20 Pro, where you basically get a toggle switch for switching on or switching off Master AI. Now, in the first landscape shot, with a lot of greenery around, you get a little symbol on the side for grass or green field on the 5Z. However, we didn't really notice any real difference between the shot with and without AI. The P20 Pro detects the scene as greenery and amps up the shadows and contrast levels, which makes the scene look a lot more dramatic. When shooting flora, both phones immediately detect the objects as flowers. With AI scene detection on the 5Z, the image has slightly better exposure and even the details on the petals are a bit sharper when you zoom in all the way. The difference is quite subtle when compared to the one taken without AI. The P20 Pro applies a more aggressive bokeh with master AI on. However, we do prefer the details in the shot without it. Both cameras can also detect when you're shooting food. With the 5C, it essentially uses HDR to make the scene look a lot more vivid. And it does this well too without overexposing any portions of the image, which looks a lot better when compared to shooting without it. The P20 Pro goes for a similar effect, however, the difference is a little less drastic. Since it's the monsoon season here, it's hard to get a really good shot of a blue sky at the moment. Thankfully, the Zenfone 5Z detects the scene as cloudy or sunset as ASUS labels it and does a good job with HDR. There's a big difference between the picture taken with and without AI scene detection. The P20 Pro has a scene called Blue Sky, which didn't exactly work obviously since there is no blue sky. As a result, it doesn't really do anything, not even applying HDR, which makes the scene look very dull. Now, both phones boast of the ability to detect animals too, and they do them pretty well. However, with the 5Z, we weren't able to find any noticeable difference between the two pictures taken with and without AI. Now, the 5C isn't very accurate with colors here, as we notice that the cat's fur looks a bit orangey rather than brown, which is a real color. The Huawei P20 Pro, on the other hand, gets the colors spot on, but once again, there's no real discernible difference between the non-AI shot and the one with. Now, the AI scene detection in both phones have the ability to detect people in the frame and apply the necessary effects. Both phones were able to detect our subject. With the 5Z, there's HDR used here, which balances the exposure of the sky nicely while bumping up the skin tones. The P20 Pro has a really cool trick, where it automatically switches to portrait mode when it detects a person's face. Without master AI, the phone doesn't seem to apply HDR, so the sky in the background is a bit overexposed. At night, the 5C shows you a little owl in the viewfinder, indicating it's switched to night mode. Here, we have a much brighter image, and the sky and even the hotel signboard is clearly visible when compared to the one without AI. The P20 Pro does a much better job with exposure compared to the 5Z, although the picture shot without master AI looks a type brighter than the one with. Now, infusing AI within the camera app can yield some pretty interesting results as we've seen. Now, sure, there are some misses here and there, but overall, it looks pretty promising. And going ahead, you can expect more smartphones to take advantage of this. So, thanks for watching, and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.